Hello all, so I'm going to be going through this week's task with you. So before I get into this week's work, I'd like to quickly share some really great work from a student in year eight. And um, this is really the standard work that everyone should be aiming for. Of course, there were many good pieces to um, kind of work with, but I had to just pick one. Um, okay, so this student has done really well and they've accurately answered all the comprehension questions. And not only have they done that, they've ensured that they've done this in four sentences. So please do when answering the questions, make sure that they are in four sentences, especially when you're instructed in the question. This is just for if you already don't do so. Um, another thing that I thought was really good was that this student has also used a quote to back up their point uh, in one of their answers. So in question four, they have answered the question and then further backed that up with a quote. So they had the quote, perhaps you'd buy a lot of tickets to celebrate which is really good because that really shows that you this is where you picked it out from and you're showing us that um, you are really picking out quotes that you think are really important to put there. Okay, so something else that um, was good as well is that in other tasks, they have also picked out quotes and phrases that they thought could help um, describe the character. And again, this is um, really good. I can tell they really thought about the quotes that they've picked out and they've ensured that they have actually explained why they picked out this quote. Um, underneath so you can see that this is the quotes that they picked out and they've under um, underneath it they've got you know the explanations for it which is really good okay so well done to the student and of course to everyone else who has been submitting work to this standard okay so let's have a look at this week's work okay so the first thing that we have to do um, is we have to carry on because we are still carrying on with um, the short story lotto um, although we looked at this before, the first thing that you need to do for your first lesson is to reread the short story. Um, this will help with the creative writing tasks that we're doing, um, which will be our main focus this week. Okay, so once you've read that, you will get onto here. Okay, so once you've done this, you will then need to read the specific passage of the text. And this is the part where the narrator is imagining the difference between her life and the life of the super rich. Okay, so once you've um, read this little um, small extract, um, you need to now rewrite this passage and you've got to now imagine, you've got to now imagine that the narrator is actually this very rich and wealthy person. And you've got to now be in this perspective, but have this narrator imagine what the life of someone who doesn't have this money is like. So you've got to now imagine how life was for them. So you're aiming for this piece to be of a similar length to the one that you see above. Okay, so once you've done that, lesson two is all about genre. So we know that Lotto has a message and they want us as readers to take away this message. So what is um, the message in the story? It tells us firstly that readers, it tells us readers um, that the narrator shouldn't be satisfied with her job because something um, or sometimes she gets to help people who are really in need of it. Um, and people have definitely have a harder or more difficult life than she does. So she gets to kind of have that appreciation for her life. Um, we also get the message that things can change. We know that the man in the story was actually lucky enough to get a new place to live in. Um, so maybe she could be also just lucky enough as well to win a lot of money through the lottery as well. So it's always a possibility. Okay, so what your task is for this lesson, lesson two, is... You need to now think about what would have happened if the message um, was that things could never change and that people that weren't well off um, still had a very difficult life or were kind of stuck in um, that um, life. They, they were stuck in that life. Nothing really changed for them. Um, you need to now rewrite the story from um, her phone call with Noah Carrington so that it reflects this message. Um, it may sound really depressing, but you need to try and write um, with this being the circumstances. Okay. So something that's really important to do for this um, lesson and something you should try and remember is that your last line has to be um, she glanced again at the lotto advert before closing the window with a sigh. There was no chance that she'd ever win. Okay, so just please try and remember to add this line at the end of yours. Okay, so lesson three is all about structure. So we know that the story sets up um, a character who's very dissatisfied with her life, and she's really unhappy about the circumstances um, surrounding her life. Um, and it's thought that um, it's, it's always um, 
good to know that the only moment that she actually changes her perspective on things is through a conversation with someone so that's how she changes her perspective so your task with this lesson is to now write your own story where someone's views are changed after talking to someone else or having a conversation with someone else so um, you can make this about anything um, but I'll give a few examples here that you can um, use. If not, you can just kind of have your own ideas, but it just has to be about someone's perspective changing. So there's a few ideas that you can write about. So you can write about a rich banker who is about to quit their high pressure, so like a very stressful job, um, when until they had this conversation with a cleaner. Or it could be about a student who is unhappy at school until they have a conversation with their younger sibling who um, appreciates school or loves school. Or you could have, um, you could write about a parent who's who's finding family life very stressful until they have their own conversation with um, parents themselves. Okay, so that's the um, three ideas that you can use, but remember you can make it about whatever you want um, as well. Just kind of needs to make sure it's following that. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Um, please do ask your teacher if you are stuck on anything else and good luck.